as many years in procurement for different organisations. I think, um, as Richard um, mentioned earlier, for me, moving to AstraZeneca um, in a procurement role really kind of highlighted the importance of procurement and how saving money and adding value to the supply chain really helps. So moving to AstraZeneca, it was very much the case that every pound saved was an extra pound to invest in R&D. That was an extra pound to plug into R&D to try and find life enhancing and life saving medicines. And for me, that was a real motivator and actually made you want to go out and, uh, you know, and deliver cost savings and also value. So I suppose the question is, um, why should you get serious about procurement? Why should procurement be um, ingrained within your organisation? And I think there are numerous reasons. So first of all, it is a discipline and it is an expertise. Not everybody um, can be a buyer. Um, for me, having that role in procurement and having some of those difficult conversations allowed my senior stakeholders within organisations to maintain a, a very good relationship with suppliers and really look at delivery. Well, procurement can focus on managing cost, KPIs, performance, feedback, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I think at the moment with COVID-19, it's really important that um, as an organisation, you ensure that your supply chain is secure. Um, the world won't be the same place after COVID-19 and, and how that will Im impact upon our supply chain and our markets. You know, we don't know as yet. Um, so it's really important to have those conversations and make sure that your supply chain is secure. And also it's about managing cost. You know, procurement is about delivering best value, but it is also about managing costs. And I think during COVID-19, we're certainly hearing from some of, the, some of our members that it is about sharing the pain. So it is also about reaching out to those key suppliers. And I think it's a reasonable ask to expect um, your suppliers to actually look at their look at their costs and look at their delivery. Um, I think in normal times, it is about maximizing profitability. It's not just about income generated within an organization. It's also about cost off the bottom line. Um, so what is procurement and what can you expect a good strategic procurement department within your organization to deliver? So as I said, it is about driving the best value from the supply chain. It shouldn't just be cost focused or even value focused. It's about delivering the best value. So I've worked in numerous different um, categories across procurement. And when I look at my time in research and development, it really isn't cost driven at all. It's about getting a drug to market quicker than your competitor. That is how you get a competitive advantage and that's how you get a patent. So actually talking cost to a set of stakeholders um, that are senior scientists and are, are all about delivering speed to market is never going to get you where you want to get to. It's about delivering best value. And that could be um, quality. It could be ticking some compliance boxes, reducing risk, for example. But it's also could be about speed to market, speed to delivery. So it's about figuring out what that value add is for your business and actually how procurement can help to manage suppliers more strategically and actually deliver uh, that value to you. So there are a couple of pitfalls, I suppose, that um, you should probably avoid when, when dealing with procurement. So I think one of them is implementing a procurement transactional only team. And I think it was, it was kind of mentioned within the survey um, that there was a lack of expert procurement um, delivery, and that was one of the barriers. I think if you implement a procurement transactional only team where it is about managing purchase orders and invoices, you're never going to get that value. It needs to be strategic in nature to drive uh, and to drive your suppliers. So I think something else that kind of came out within that was a lack of supplier relationship management. And that for me is, is key. Um, I've worked in different organisations that have been very transactional and commodity based to moving over to very much strategic procurement. And that is really where you add value. That's where you get um, a real deep understanding of your suppliers, um, about how to be a good client from your perspective as well, so that suppliers want to do business with you and it's easy to do business with you. Um, but also making sure that, you know, the procurement team are effective and efficient in meeting your needs as, a, as a, an organisation. One of the other pitfalls and areas where procurement really falls down is when stakeholders don't fully support and sponsor procurement. 
there's nothing worse as a procurement professional than sitting in a negotiation and actually the deal's already been done um, or a cost's already been agreed or uh, a document's already been signed. Procurement has to be seen as being key to that decision and actually really involved from very, very early on within any tender process or any contract negotiation. If it's not, then believe me, suppliers will find ways of avoiding procurement at all costs, which a lot of them do tend to do, um, and kind of skirt around and go to more senior levels. So it has to very much be a relationship internally. And I've spent many years actually building internal relationships with stakeholders is just as important as building external relationships with suppliers. It really has to be um, everybody sat at the same table. Uh, and a, a final point for me is don't underestimate the reputational risk of poorly selected and managed suppliers. We've all heard headlines out there um, regarding suppliers and, uh, you know, reputational risk. And a supplier that you are using in the public domain, you know, their reputational risk does reflect on you. And I think procurement can really help to make sure that from a compliance perspective, your suppliers that are chosen are chosen for the right reasons and actually that they represent the ethics of your organisation. Um, and that's something that we're doing a lot of work on at the moment within the CPC is to look at how diversity and inclusion um, is streamlined down our supply chain, not just within the organisation itself.